Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel and today we are here with another deck guide. Today is the time of the TF Gangplank, so without further ado, let's take a look at the decklist. So yeah, this is the decklist. I've been quite su successful with it as well. I don't know if you saw my uh, video of yesterday about scouts. Uh, so I've been uh, doing 6-2 with this deck, which is uh, yet again a 75% win rate. But yeah, the numbers are very small, so it could change in... Uh, in quite a, a small amount of time but anyway uh, for the deck analysis uh, basically you want to get your gangplank and twisted fate twisted fate is more like um, um, uh, like a very powerful card a standalone card uh, you don't want to level him up uh, of course on games where it does maybe with uh, the, the help of uh, zap spray fin drawing you cards and uh, really I think that's it uh, maybe black market merchant and uh, yeah that's it, the only two cards which throw cards. Um, so you don't really want to level up uh, Twisted Fate. Uh, it's just there because if you can uh, play him after you play a Petty Officer, for example, uh, the Powder Keg, and then you deal uh, two, uh, two damage AoE only for your opponent, uh, it is very, very strong against the aggro matchup, and most of the times uh, uh, it can end uh, the game uh, right there. Um, overall, it is a very strong card. You can play proactively by playing the blue card. Uh, for new people, those are the cards. So, when I was saying about the red card, this is the, the AoE, and this is the blue card to play it as a, as a um, refill, basically. And uh, also, the gold cards sometimes could help, uh, like to, um, to remove some of their, um, like, uh, Threats uh, to, to damage uh, is not too much, uh, but for example, it could remove some loosens or uh, stuff like that, or damage other champions like Kalista or uh, Misfortune. If you manage to deal one damage to them, like for example, with Make It Rain, and then you can follow it up with a gold card, then you can uh, get rid of those as well. So, yeah, very, very strong card, the Twisted Fate. Instead, Gangplank is something that you more want to work towards. Uh, yeah, a bit of a uh, uh, word uh, game there, but yeah, so you have a lot of uh, ways to deal damage to the Nexus, Warning Shot, uh, uh, Make It Rain, Dead Sand, um, and all the other uh, aggressive uh, stuff, or also the, um, the Warning Shot from your other Grifter, uh, as well as um, like more uh, end game stuff, uh, like Captain Faron and Replayed Rex. Uh, there, there are times in the game where you want to play the warning shots on their, uh, on their attacking turns when you are defending because you don't have the option to deal damage through attacks. So you, even if you don't have anything to, to like play with uh, the warning shot, you don't have any plunder. Uh, you still probably want to go for warning shot uh, if you have a gangplank or you plan in getting a gangplank. You, you hope to get a gangplank uh, pretty soon. For example, in matchups where you you know that you're losing if you don't get the gangplank, then you want to play it aggressively uh, so that you can level him up as soon as possible in the hope that you get him. Uh, most of the times you want to like go into jagged butcher if. If you are attacking and then warning shot into black market merchants on on their defensive turn to get the most out of a black market merchant then iron gun is pretty strong like to make uh, a lot of stuff uh, vulnerable which uh, uh, you want to remove uh, like for example uh, uh, all the champions uh, that could come at you but even the the ramp uh, the zero four uh, reading stones uh, that most of the times your opponent won't block with uh, then you make it vulnerable and then you can uh, like uh, kill it with the iron gun itself and then a that sand later later on or just deal damage to it and then uh, follow it up with nox and guillotine at some point in later in the game so yeah a lot of options uh, probably the, the strongest part of this deck is that it can either be aggressive very very aggressive against uh, uh, control decks uh, it can fend off uh, most of mid-range strategies uh, with uh, power cards such as Riptide Rex or just uh, getting enough, enough cheap damage in and then uh, finishing off with Captain Farron if they don't have uh, ailing as accessible. Uh, and against aggro, you have a lot of ways to deal AoEs uh, thanks to Twisted Fate uh, or just uh, to remove stuff, also make it rain and Gangplank leveled up, as well as just to remove stuff like uh, Dead Sand or Nox and Guillotine, uh, as well as Plant of uh, aggression of your own uh, in the form of Petty Officer, Ired Gun, uh, just Braving and stuff like that. So yeah, very very solid deck, uh, no wonder this is uh, an S tier deck, but anyway, let's jump into some games to see this deck in action. 
So okay, as you can see, we are uh, still in Diamond 3, um, but uh, last season we were into Masters. We are up against uh, Luis and Kalista, so kind of interesting lineup. Uh, it is quite hard to, to rank right now, um, like for a month or so I was in Platinum, but yeah, now I'm starting to get a pace and I plan to get into Masters as soon as possible because of the Masters Europe, I don't know if you... Uh, heard of that, but it's basically a tournament from Riot, an off the first official tournament. Anyway, uh, probably that Sand is gonna be strong against Lucian, so we want to keep that. Ravenous Flock doesn't seem to have uh, a place yet, uh, and Riftide Rex is just uh, too expensive. Although since we have a play on turn 2 and 3 as well, uh, we might even consider keeping the Riftide Rex as uh, basically a win condition that we already can work up towards uh, during the game. So since he is attacking there are uh, on the second turn, there are high chances that he's going to go for uh, Lucian. So that's why I say that we have a turn to play. If not, we just go for Iron Gun. Make it rain is also very strong. Okay, Don't see here, Lucian. Way. Now this is interesting. Uh, we could uh, first uh, kill uh, the Bark Beast. And then follow it up with uh, that sand to heal the Lucian. In any case, we are getting uh, 2 damage. 3 damage, sorry. Probably I like more to go to for make it rain so that then we can hire the gun to kill this off. That sand is more useful later, I guess. And also, it's uh, less expensive. But now we have to um, to look out for uh, Senna. So to play it the the safest, uh, we kind of have to go for uh, that sand right now, which now I kind of regret uh, have gone for uh, for what I did before. Yeah, I want to play it safe. The Senna is probably coming. Yeah, I should have gone for that sand, and then I could uh, clear the, the Bark Beast with something else. Okay, Glimpse Beyond. Yeah. Yeah, I did play it uh, a bit uh, strangely. Um, I was too worried about his Senna coming down, and I didn't have answers. <laughs> But yeah, he did play for uh, drawing stuff, uh, and we are kinda even. Uh, we are one mana ahead, uh, and uh, we have one less card. We we shall their okay, as well, Kalista, so we kinda have to go for Petty Officer here. We have a blocker for the Fearsome. And we can't really go for a Powder Gag, keg, although I would want to, but he simply will trade it with world, the Warden Spray. So let's go oh, for the so one dead. drop. The flower child, which is not the worst, but not the best. Probably the best you, that you could get uh, is the pool shark, because it draws you a card. Very, very strong. Gangplank, but it is uh, pretty unleveled up. So now we could go for uh, Iron Gun, so that we can trade uh, with Petty Officer. Then we also have a uh, black market merchant. Oh, yes. Percent keeper. So yeah, we just want to to clear the Kalista, and we can also attack with everything else. Probably we will get the plunder from those attacks, and then we will have uh, three mana on the mana spell for the Dead Sand. No, the Gangplank is gonna be 3 out of 5, uh, next turn with that Sand is gonna be 4 out of 5, and then with the Yordor Grid Fairy is uh, gonna level up on the turn later. Probably we might even consider going for Yordor Grid Fairy next turn, and probably Warning Shot, uh, but but we, we want to keep the Warning Shot for the Riptide Rex, uh, which we also kept in our opener because uh, we knew that it was very important. So yeah, let's see, let's see. I wanna go home! So yeah, he's taking his time. Ranger Resolve. Okay. 
this is gonna hurt quite a bit because we don't uh, trade the Kalista smoothly. So we kinda have to go for that sand right now. Probably we might wait next turn so that we also get the, the Gangplank uh, activation. But now, yeah, we can safely go for Black Market Merge. as well. Treasures of the ages. Citria. Very very strong. This probably the one of the best pulls. Let's imagine that he did draw into that. It would have been uh, very very bad for us. Okay so now I don't think there are ways that you can level up the Kalista by sacrificing two of his units, but anyway, the Dead Sand will kill her uh, even if he levels up, if she levels up. Okay, Lucian is also very threatening. I'll find vengeance on my own. This is pretty interesting. I don't know if I want to kill the Lucian. Or the Kalista. So we probably want to play Gangplank first, anyway. So that we at least have a blocker on the Lucian. And uh, whoever he attacks with, uh, the, the, um, the Powder Keg, then we clear the other one with uh, that Sand. We might as well go for a Gangplank parlay. But then we lose the gang plan. Okay, he's attacking with, with both. Let's you see where he goes uh, with, with the powder keg. So he doesn't uh, take the powder keg. Interesting. So we probably want to do these. Uh, that. Predator denied. That. <laughs> this new. Sorry. These, uh, so yeah, now Lucian's uh, doesn't level up, uh, and even if it does, uh, it Do at least trades uh, with Gangplank. Uh. But uh, we might as well take the damage. I don't know. No, yeah, probably let's uh, let's dead send. Yeah. Now he has to sacrifice the Bark Beast as well to level up the Lucian so that he can trade on the Gangplank, but we still have the other one uh, if he does so. And he's in a pretty bad spot if he does. So yeah, you see, we're also even on, uh, on health. So is he going for it? Yeah, he probably has another glimpse beyond. He's thinking about it. Yeah. Okay, but he's sacrificing this one, uh, which I'm kind of happier about. Oh, and this does not even level up, Lucian. Oh yeah, because. Okay, okay. So this is uh, gonna trade. We're gonna need more coffins. Okay. Now he's uh, kinda ahead. He has more cards. But we have another gangplank. Which is very, very close to level up. I don't know if I want to go for Citria or gangplank. Probably Citria, since we are attacking. And the Gangplank doesn't uh, yet level up. Okay, Kalista. We can safely attack with uh, this one as well. It will trade mostly with the Bark Beast. And this will go here. So, okay, Kalista is also uh, very close to leveling up again. 
she will probably summon the 4-3. I didn't uh, look at uh, all the stuff that died. Imagine Kalista summoning a uh, Citria. That would be insane. I don't know if the attack from Citria summoned by the Kalista triggers. That's a pretty interesting idea. Okay, so now Kalista is gonna level up, but uh, after he passes. We probably want to go for your other grifter so that we can set up the replay wreck. So. Yeah, you don't want to cross. Okay, we did get the legions, and wow, the the Renter's pursuit is very, very threatening for him. Everyone's a garden. Okay, Galista levels up. We can go for another Yarder Lifter since we know that uh, the allegiance is uh, fulfilled. And uh, yeah, there is no way he's not attacking. So let's just pass. Okay, so he's uh, proposing a trade uh, for Citria. Which we might even accept, accept. Because if we survive long enough, uh, the replay Rex and the, uh, the Gangplank will uh, simply win us the game. There is so yeah, I kinda like oh, doing this. We only take uh, 3 damage and we are in a pretty safe spot. At this point, it's just a matter of surviving, really. Now we might even uh, go for uh, the warning shot so that we can level up uh, the gangplank. We, we we have another one uh, for the retail Rex. Next turn, I will probably go for gangplank first. Oh, this the fate is also very very strong. We can go for both. I am reborn of salt and pride. So yeah, when Gangplank comes down, uh, leveled up, uh, it's basically a good game. You see that, that right now, we do nuke his board, uh, and he has to kind of sacrifice the Kalista as well, if he doesn't want to die. And we also have a relentless pursuit to attack uh, a second time. So yeah, he's taking his time. We You've concerns, do you? We probably will go for Twisted Fate Red Card as well. First. So that he doesn't uh, get a chance to block with those as well. Because if you attack with the Gangplank, uh, then he still has the residual images. But uh, with Twisted Fate, uh, he can. So we basically put more damage. Yeah, I'm expecting a concede. Okay, interesting. Rangers resolve. Something for all. They still take one damage. This dies. Now he has a chance to develop. Oh, fresh soil. Okay, this was probably a bad move because now they all die for. Uh, from Gangplank. Now, if he doesn't block, I'm happy. And then, next, uh, with the Red Pursuit, we kill him. They, they still all die. So. Another Ranger Resolve. Oh, yeah, but this was quite expensive. He's not blocking yet. Okay, Red Hunter's Pursuit of his own. So yeah, he's gonna trade uh, the Twisted Fate and these. Uh, we have a block on Kalista with that. Uh, and then we can kill him off uh, with, uh, with our Relentless Pursuit of our own, uh, if uh, Gangplank survives, which she probably does. So yeah, very very interesting game. He could probably want to... yeah. He, he probably could have done for, uh, gone for that. Uh, because now we have to block with uh, Gangplank, but it doesn't really die, so 
We can safely do that. And yeah, there is no point in uh, sacrificing the the twisted fate. So yeah, I think that uh, that's a good game with a relentless pursuit of our own. And you see that uh, we still had a lot of ways. We basically drained him uh, out of cards uh, and uh, we still had the uh, Riptide Rex and Warning Shot, which we kept uh, on our opener and we didn't uh, end up playing. But yeah, if uh, he had stronger stuff uh, to follow up, uh, like a Citra, for example, then the Riptide Rex would have been uh, very, very important. Now, it, it wasn't really dead. It was left at 1 HP, but yeah. We still had the Twisted Fate, so yeah, good game, well played, man. So yeah, this deck is currently 7-2. If I win another one, this will be an 80% uh, win rate deck, which is uh, very, very strong uh, indeed. Uh, Twisted Fate Gangplank is uh, currently placed at S tier uh, in this current meta, so definitely try this deck out. I will link uh, in the description uh, the Mobalytics uh, where you can... Uh, use my deck, the link, and also the deck code, uh, as well as uh, please subscribe to the channel, 80% uh, of you viewers are not subscribed, so please do if you uh, like uh, uh, get to view my videos uh, most of the times, uh, and yeah, also like and comment on what you think about this deck or whatever, I really like to uh, get in touch with you guys, so if you want to get more in touch with me, uh, get into my Discord server, link is uh, in the description. So yeah, that's it for this video, hope you liked it and find it useful, and as always, see ya!